Welcome everyone where we will be learning how to get jobs with NGOs and international organization and if you're watching this on a replay you will get as much value as anyone who joins us live here. So without further ado I think let us get started. I'm guessing for a lot of you this is probably not the first seminar or training that you are attending. The first thing I want to mention is that if you have failed to earn more money in the past it is not your fault there is a lot of information out there and that information by itself it can be confusing many a times that information overload is what keeps you from success and guess what it is okay if you have failed to earn um to in the past you have failed to be successful in employment I want to put those fears to rest and let you know that you just need the right person to explain it to you. On the other hand, the society has perpetuated the message that you need to be an entrepreneur for you to be successful. And when you introduce yourself as an employee, people tend to look at you at, as a second-hand citizen. I am here to put those fears to rest. Most people, as a matter of fact, are better off as employees. And they get more job satisfaction and higher productivity as employees. On the other hand, the big corporations, the education system, and the government, they want you to think that you need some fancy college degree for you to be successful. I have some good news for you. I'm here to tell you that they are wrong. They, are, they, they have their own reason for wanting you to think like that but it is not true someone is trying to call me to confirm that we are here live yes we are here live let me put it on silent and we continue if you have ever thought that the government and the education system that they want you to fail you are probably right they don't benefit from you succeeding they want to put you in debt and in need and the difference uh, with us is that we actually care about your success and we want to see you living the life of your dreams so that is what we are here for i know you have that dream job which will give you the highest satisfaction and utilize your full potential i want to show you how to make that happen during this training session and so i will pause here and ask you are you ready if you're ready, drop it in the chat. Say, yes, you are ready. And I will be happy to know where are you also joining us from. I can see we have Masi in Kenya. Someone uh, here called Madrav saying hi. Let me know, are you ready? And where are you joining us from? I can see Sylvia saying, yes, she's here from Kenya. I can see someone else saying, uh, where are these comments? There are so many coming in. I am saying, yes, they are ready. Are you ready? Are you ready? I can see uh, also uh, Maureen. They are saying, yes, she's ready. Uh, how? Yes, I'm ready from Nigeria. That is happiness. Oh, good, good, good. There's someone else from India. Aziz, yes, you're ready. I am happy to see this. I am so happy to see this. Again, we have Teru Wangoi from Kenya saying, yes, I'm ready. This is great. So if you're ready, drop that in the chat. Someone from Lebanon. Oh, good, good. I, I can't even keep up with all this. Yes, I'm ready. That is uh, somebody in Kenya there. I can see Paul also on LinkedIn. Oh, someone Lebanon. So if I can see, this is very exciting and people are seriously ready. Now, I want you to imagine this. Picture this in your head that you attend an interview and at the end of the interview, the hiring manager tells you the three magic words every employee is looking to hear and they tell you that you have been hired once you get the job and you start working at the end of the month you get a pay slip like this now this is in kenya shillings and it is per month uh if you want to make it much easier for you to understand just divide it by a hundred and get it in dollars your basic salary is one hundred and eighty thousand kenya shillings your month, uh, house allowance, 50,000 kenya shillings your medical allowance, 25,000 kenya shillings your community allowance 15,000 Kenya shillings and totals up to 270,000 Kenya shillings per month, which is about 2,700 US dollars. Can you have that picture in your head? Do you have that picture in your head? Imagine earning that, yeah? That would be great, yes? 
I can imagine so. So um, my question that I want to ask as we start is, what does a six-figure salary mean to you? Take your time, drop that in the chat, either in a word or two or in a phrase. Just tell me, what does a six-figure salary mean to you? Because we want to have this very clear. Thank you very much. I can see Edward joining us in Nairobi, Kenya. I can see Alex come out also saying they are ready. There's Mata all the way in Nigeria. There's Jacqueline. I want you to drop in the chat. Actually, I'm waiting to read your uh, chat. Vincent Kibet, um, you have been a very loyal follower. I'm very happy to see you here. What does a six-figure salary mean to you? Like, if you were to get that salary at the end of the month, what will it be? I know I've asked this so many people, and they give me a very big uh, range of answers. Not sure it's about job satisfaction. Okay, you go for job satisfaction, not necessarily about the money. Okay, I can see there's... Um, Jenny say benefit and fruitful revenues. That is very uh, nice. I can see somebody here talking about stability. I really like that. Yes, actually getting a six-figure salary, a lot of stability. And I can see someone else here talking about a dream job, a salary that matches expertise and hard work of the employee. Okay, that is super great, super great, super great. Salary in million. Someone uh, say that, yeah. Salary in million. And yes. A six-figure salary means a lot of many different things to different people. And once you understand why you are going after this six-figure salary, it is even easier for you to go ahead and work towards it. Now, who is this training for? When I was planning this training, there are two types of people that I want to help in the next one hour or so. The first one, a professional who wants to get a job with NGOs and the UN and international organizations so if you are that kind of person looking for jobs in ngos the un and international organizations you are in the right place the second kind of person i really want to help and this is what i was thinking about when i was preparing this presentation is someone with or without a degree and they are feeling stuck in their career so if you're there you're feeling a little bit stuck in your career you don't know how you proceed irrespective if you have a degree or not I can tell you that you are in the right place. My goal for this session is to show you the only way for you to get these jobs with NGOs, international organizations, is by acquiring what I call the Badass Pro skills. And the only place you can be able to get these Badass Pro skills is a program around called the Badass Pro. As you can see here, we will get some minutes. We'll talk about it later on. Is that okay? For those of you who have seen me for the very first time, my name is Daniel Mutuku. I am an author, I'm an entrepreneur. I founded Career Point Solutions. And over the last 10, almost 11 years, I have been blessed that I've been able to work as a recruiter, a career advisor, a professional and pro develop, uh, personal and professional development coach. On top of that, I am a certified digital marketer by Google and also a member among other groups, I am a very proud member of the League of Young Professionals, also known as LYP. On top of that, I'm an author of several books. The first one is Facebook for Profit, how you can easily use Facebook for profit and extra cash even on a part-time basis. The second book I published was Blueprint for Success, Guaranteed Steps to Achieving Anything. And yes, I also have these two books out there for free. You can get them, conquer the year ahead, make the next 12 months your best year ever. I know you're heading towards the halfway through the year, but you can read this book and say in the next 12 months, I'll change everything. And next year time like this, I would say the last 12 months have been the best year ever. And the ultimate cover letter guide, 101 sample cover letters for all professionals. You can get these two books for free. You can watch my video somewhere in um, my YouTube channel. You'll see how you can be able to download these two books for free. So I have two questions for you as we get started. The first question I want to ask you, will you let me be your coach? In the next one hour or so, will you allow me to be your coach, to be your mentor, to be able to guide you? If so, drop yes in the chat. And I will actually wait to see the yes coming in. Will you allow me to be your mentor? Thank you. I can see Sandra joining us in Zimbabwe. Uh, so the question, will you let me be your coach? I can see, see someone say yes for sure. I can see yes from Maureen. I can see yes from Yesar. Yes, they're coming in. 
okay yes 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 okay this is great this is great and the second question that i want to ask is will you let me tell you the truth the hard truth even if that is not what you want to hear so if the answer is yes to both of them i want you to put like yes twice yes yes or yes times two or something of that sort will you let me tell you the truth the hard truth even if that is not what you want to hear yeah so say yes times two or yes yes okay i can see the yes coming in dear say yes i can see yes yes um who is this jacqueline say yes i can also see elaine saying yes yes thank you for giving me your permission to be your coach to tell you the truth esther saying yes yes okay this is great this is great and that is what is important giving me that permission because what i'm about to share with you probably no one have given you has actually gotten so candid with you and told you the truth as i am going to break it down for you this evening so you better get a pen and a paper or a notebook write this stuff out and make sure that you follow through is that okay okay i can see there's so many yeses i am very glad and happy to see that so let's continue to make you understand this um i will give you a, a bit of my job search story back in 2009 i cleared my schooling and i was there voila ready to go out there and look for a job it took me about one whole year to be able to get real job because in 2010 i got my first real job now according to the bureau of statistics it takes about 10 15 years for a fresh graduate to be able to secure a job or someone just from college and i was lucky it took me about one year and i really sympathize with those people who stay three four five years without a job it is not easy but once i got it my first job something interesting happened in my first year i got over like 10 interviews they started coming in but the thing is that i was not securing these jobs uh, it was like an interview every month and i don't know why i am not getting these jobs so when it came 2011 i got a job that i said i must use this moment this is my dream job at that particular point i was working with a company called computer for schools uh project and i was posted all the way in cia that is the western side of uh, kenya nyanza and yeah i worked there for about one year then I was uh, I saw this opportunity in Nairobi for an international school and they were looking for an ICT teacher and here I am teaching students and teachers how to use computers and uh, for teaching and learning and I said let me apply for this job and that is when I when I look back actually that is where this idea of the badass pro skills uh, started coming in and I will explain to you how it works because uh, basically you apply for as many jobs as possible if you're lucky you get invited for an interview if the interviewers like you, then they give you the job. And even if it's not your dream job, you still pick it because you needed a job, right? However, with Badass Pro Skills, these are tried and tested techniques that will give you predictable results. Like you are sure the moment I start applying this kind of skills, I am going to get the job. It did not only work for me, it also worked for this gentleman take a look at this email that i got from alexander he told me thank you i attended a career presentation last time this monday i was interviewed for the position of liaison officer kenya airways and wednesday this week i got the job voila you can see the magic he got it so this evening in the next now 40 minutes or so i am going to share with you these two main secrets number one how to triumph over more qualified and experienced candidates and number two how to negotiate a six-figure salary now i like playing this game yeah so i want to know imagine we did not have enough time to do these two secrets we only had time for one secret which one is it that you'd really 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 want to know is it one how to triumph over more qualified and experienced candidates or is it two how to negotiate a six-figure salary i want you to drop a one or a two in the chat i want to see which one is the popular secret you want to know so drop either a one or a two a one or a two i can see yes times two okay um i can see number one i can see number two i can see saudi go Saida goes for number two i can see the uh, pfizer number one okay i am not sure who was who terry goes for number one sunny goes for number one who else yes yes okay that is a 
Kidati go for number one. Weekly goes for number one. Uh, who else? I want to see. Uh, what? Uh, okay. I think I put this one on mute. Uh, I wouldn't want to be uh, disturbed. Okay, moving on. I can see number one, two, number one, two, number one. But from the look of things, number one is on the lead here. I can see number one. Ever you go with number one, number one, carry number one. Okay, and number two. Okay, anyway, the good thing is that we have time for both secrets, so you will be able to learn both of them. So, hug in them 40 minutes max we will be through i'll be answering your questions and we can call it a day right so let's get started with secret number one how do you triumph over more qualified and experienced uh candidates remember the story i told you i used to work back in um in, in uh, cia Nyanza. so i came to this interview and after that interview i traveled back to cia and when i went after the interview i was so sure as sure as hell that i'm going to get that job and the next day, as I was walking towards my house, mid-morning, 10, 11 ish, I received a call. I remember very clearly it was a lady. She called me to tell me that, yes, thank you for coming in for the interview yesterday. We are offering you the job. I was so happy. I was almost jumping in the middle of the road out of excitement. And like, this is my dream job coming true. Then that afternoon, um, I received the same call and it was a bit depressing because it was the same lady calling me but this time around she had some bad news and she told me unfortunately i'm calling to inform you that we are withdrawing the job offer so i got a little bit confused and i say she was doing the job offer what happened I say that yeah we took your name to the we took your name to the uh board and they decided not to pick you because you do not have experience as um teacher teaching in an international school or taking students through the international exam, that is IGCSE. I said, wait a minute, I have none of that experience. I I have not taught in an international school. I don't know have any qualification teaching international, but yet I was the best interviewee. I was able to beat these people who were more qualified, had more experience than me. So how was I able to do that? I will tell you this as a fact. And you need these three things as you get into that interview. Within the first three seconds, when you get into that interviewing room, you should be able to show these three things. Number one, you should be able to show them that you are as sharp as a tack. You're mentally acute, you're clever, you're intelligent, mentally alert. You have your eyes on the ball. This should come straight off the bat. You get into the interviewing room. Thing number two, you should show them that you are as enthusiastic as hell showing and having great excitement and interest in that organization in that position and that specific role that you are interviewing for and number three you should be able to show them that you are an expert you're knowledgeable you have the skills in that area these three things should come straight off the bat you get into that interviewing room now probably you are wondering how do i do that now the good news is that all these three these are learnable skills and you can use them you can learn and start using them. when i started i didn't have any of these three skills sharp as a tack enthusiastic as hell and showing that you're an expert but i was able to learn with time take a look at this other person this is brian he uh, he sent me an email telling me dear daniel i am grateful for the service and I would like to give you feedback. The CV helped me get five interviews. In this day and age, who gets five interviews? Three finance officer position and two finance officer position. Lucky enough, I managed to secure the finance officer job. I'm starting in January. He got the job. Here's another one from Jeff Kurui. She told me, hello, Daniel. Thank you for always sharing how to answer questions in an interview. In the beginning of this year, I secured a job that I have been dreaming. She got her dream job to be a registry officer. Now I am one. Thank you and be blessed. Yet a very happy customer. Another one. Yeah, you can see Jane saying, thank you guys for writing my CV in a professional way. I went for, um, I secured myself a job within a few months. This 
uh my current employer was so pleased by my cv in such a way i cannot explain i went for four interviews and still emerged the best thank you kind regards jane and you can see the kind of impact that this has probably you're there and you're having this question in your head how long does it take yeah i'll tell you this this is a job market you are paid for being valuable as an individual you're paid for being uh, bringing value into the marketplace it takes time to build up this value, but unfortunately, it uh, you are not paid for the time. You're paid for the value. So don't worry about how long it takes. Focus on getting the value and bringing it into the market. What about office politics? By the way, I can assure you, office politics is not going anywhere. But I can teach you how to use office politics to your advantage. This is a learnable skill that you can be able to use. How do I convince the management that I am the right candidate? I am due for promotion. I can take up more responsibility. Huh, it might be a very difficult task convincing people. Actually, that's the wrong question. Convincing people takes time and effort. But I can be able to teach you how to influence the management to pick you up. Because influence is a learnable skill and you can be able to use it to your advantage. Do I need to quit my job? Okay. Most of the time, no, but if you have to, there are certain red flags we look for. If we uh, take the checkbox, then I can give you a go ahead. Yes, you need to uh, quit your job, but most of the times the opportunities are where, right there where you are. Is it possible for me? Someone asked me and I say, yes, it is very much possible for you. It worked for me. It has worked for Alexander. Was it Jeff Kurui, Brian? It can equally work for you. And so I'm telling you, it is possible for you. So I say this with a lot of conviction and say it is possible to triumph over other candidates who are more qualified and experienced. Yes. And guess what? I want you to repeat this after me. Yeah. If you're there, you, I want you to say this out loud. If not out loud, just say it quietly with a lot of conviction. People are around you don't think you're going crazy. We can say this together that it is possible to triumph over other candidates who are more qualified and experienced. Yes, it is very much possible. So moving on, how do, okay, before I go to secret number two, yeah, let me pause here and ask you guys, are you finding value in this session? If you're finding value, say yes, value, just say value or say keep going, we are good to go or whatever, yeah, something short, you can type it out. So the question I'm asking you, are you finding value in this session? Uh, can you say that this was not a waste of time? You are glad that you have joined us this evening in this live broadcast or even if you're watching the replay so far so good i can see yes uh, someone saying it's valuable i can see someone else coming in uh saying it is valuable i think i need to yes i can see someone saying value yes keep going thank you very much oh i can see someone saying keep going that is a uh, prisca um prisca oh someone still saying number one someone saying more value Okay, thank you. Thank you, guys. I am um, value 100%. That is Emmanuel. I really appreciate that. Uh, who else here? I can see Phoebe. I think I saw one for Phoebe saying value, valuable, keep going. Oh, good, good, good. Just checking up on the energy, say, uh, just to confirm that you are getting value out of this. It is not waste of my time, and it's also not waste of your time. And you are glad that you took time to join us. Perry is saying value, value, value. I'm so happy to hear that. So let's keep going. Let's keep going. Let's keep going. Okay. More people joining us. Someone else here. Was it from Bangladesh? I saw that. Karibu Shana. Oh, my don't know Swahili. You're very much welcome. Mary, you're saying value. Keep going. I appreciate that. So let me keep going. Let us go to secret number two. How do you negotiate a six-figure salary? Yes. How do you do that? Now, when I was doing research for this section, I came across this study that was done by Jobbite, a very authoritative firm when it comes to um, res human resource stuff. And they say that 84% of salary negotiations usually always results to a higher pay. And I said, this is good news. Let me interpret it for you. Chances of you getting a higher salary if you go and negotiate for one, it's very high, 40, 84%. Then the second piece of data made me 
a little bit depressed. I was not so sure. And uh, it said only 14% of employees negotiate salary in their current job. This is not so good. Like most people reserve the idea of negotiating a higher salary only when they go to an external organization, when they are interviewing outside there. But they don't really take time to negotiate for salary in their current job. And uh, I think I will pause here and ask. I want to see if this 14% represent what we have here. Have you ever tried to negotiate salary in your current job? If so, just say yes. And if you have never tried to negotiate salary in your current job, just say no. Yes, no. I want to see. Are we making up 14% or is this just uh, coming up? Oh, Yara saying keep Yara saying keep going. Thank you very much. This to pass Grace Joseph saying yes, keep going. I can see. Oh, so yes, Jemima has ever tried. Okay, there's someone who says no. Elizabeth also no, she has never tried. I can see Wesley saying no. I can see that other person saying no. I can see Rhoda saying no. I can see no. I can see, oh, at least I can see a yes here. Priska, you have tried. How did it go, good or bad? I can see exactly saying yes. Kipet saying no. No, 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 no. Okay, I, I think um, this just confirms. Yeah, a very small percentage of people really take time to negotiate. Ah, uh, I can see a long way here. I have negotiated twice in my current job. And how did it end up? Was it good or bad? Yeah. Did they, now let's look. Is it chances of getting that higher percentage is 84% because you've tried twice? Yeah. Uh, okay, I can see someone saying yes and someone uh, again saying no. So here's the thing, uh, you can see, yeah, this is not a very good percentage, uh, 14%, but I would say we need to try more. But how do you go about it? The first thing is that anyone who is confident enough to try usually succeeds. That is where it starts. Anyone who is confident enough to try usually succeeds. And so it's not about, first of all, just being con uh being sure you'll get it. It starts with confidence. I can see a little bit more yeses coming in. Oh, someone saying no, went. Oh, someone said Elizabeth and it went bad. Probably you did not follow. I'm going to give you some tips on how it uh, is. Oh, I can see Priska also saying it ended badly. This is interesting. Let me check out this. Uh, no, never. Uh, someone say yes. Uh, when you work with NGOs, non-profit can't ask for salary fast. Yeah, that might not be the first thing. I did negotiate, that is Gil, but how did it go? I can see happiness saying it went bad. I'm about to give you three tips that will ensure next time you try to negotiate, things will go well, yeah? Peter, Karibishana, all the way in Nairobi. Here, I'm also in Nairobi, Kenya. Good to have you. So let me give you three tips that will ensure next time you try to negotiate your salary. Oh, some good news at last. I can see someone saying, yeah, it went well. So there's hope, yeah? These three tips will change how you look at job search. Is that okay? Tip number one. Now, it might look so simple, but until you wonder, is it a real, is it a tip really? You need to know the salary you want before you start negotiating. Yeah, so many people, they are in the negotiating. We are in the negotiating table. Ask them, how much do you need? And they tell me, I want more. And I'm like, what is more? Do you know? I don't know. Right now you're earning 50,000. I give you 50,000 and a shilling on top. Isn't that more? Do you understand what I mean? I don't understand. You need to have a very clear figure. This is what I want. And then on top of the figure, now it should not be a figure that you're just pulling from thin air, 50,000, 150, 200,000. No, it should be a figure that is based on your value, based on your worth. So the big question is, do you understand your value in the marketplace? Do you understand how much you are worth in the marketplace? Once you have been able to answer that question, second tip is to make the company realize your value. Do not assume they know. Bring in all and any evidence you have to support that, uh, that call that you're saying, I am valuable, this is my value. And what is it that you're referring to? Let them know you're worthwhile. What is your meaningful contribution? What do they stand to lose when you are no longer there? What is the unique thing that you're bringing on board? Because if you're just going to negotiate your salary and say, I've been here for the last 10 years, 
The question is, have you been a valuable individual for us for the last 10 years? Have you been an asset or have you been a liability? When you focus the whole conversation to be based on value, then you have an upper hand in the negotiation. And the third tip I want to give you is you need to use comparables to justify your higher salary. Do you know how much someone like you in your industry with experience just like you, how much should they be paid? On average, how much should they be paid? You will be surprised. There are tools out there to help you know that kind of information. I will share with you as we move ahead. Is that okay? Now, as we continue, I want you to look at this to um, this, this email I got from a gentleman called Julius. He says, greetings this evening. I'm writing to appreciate your work. It is barely two months after I used your reviewed CV. I am glad that I have landed two jobs. It has taken, uh, I have taken one I prefer. I'm working towards completing my course m &E. That is a monitoring evaluation course we offer here at Career Point Solutions. You are the best. Yours sincerely, Julius. With barely two months, this gentleman got two jobs. Here is another one. I want you to check out, yeah? This is a gentleman called uh, Lawrence. He says, I am happy to inform you that after you guys reviewed my resume, I received three different calls for interviews within a span of 24 hours. Within a span of one week, I attended all the interviews. Fortunate enough, I secured all the three jobs. This was after a pregnant search for a job for uh, one whole year. I only have the difficult task choosing which one to go for, but uh, for but eventually I opted for one and politely and professionally declined the other two. Thanks a great deal. Please convey my gratitude to your entire team. Yours sincerely, Lawrence. You can see how magical getting three jobs within 24 hours. It's not a job. It's just like magic. So I want to ask you in the chat, yeah. Give me a word or two. Imagine you have three or four job offers and you have to pick one and let go the other. What criteria will you use to decide I'll go for job A and I will let job B go? So type it up in the chat. I want to see. And the thing here is I want you to be really very frank and be very honest with yourself. Like, yes, you have two, three, four jobs. You have to pick one, let go the other. Be very frank. Don't be modest. If you're modest, I will call you out. If you're frank and say, this is what I will use to decide. I'll go to this job and I'll let go. Type it in the chat, yeah? I'm waiting to see that. Because it is important for us to be frank with ourselves and decide this is what I want to go for. Okay. Jenai, uh, you're talking about um, job description. Okay, you're being modest. But imagine though both job description are fitting you. Okay, uh, that's someone from uh, Sierra Leone. I can see. Okay, someone got it here. Work experience, environment, salary, that is very good. Nailed it, the salary, and that is true. People make this decision based on salary, salary and company growth. I can see I will uh, consider my passion first. Okay, someone nailed it, salary, working environment and salary. And who goes for salary and job security. Actually, job security, you want to be paid longer. You are sure that you will continue being paid there. Yeah, someone else, salary, purpose and salary. Okay, good. The point here is I am looking, if those people who talked about salary, that is what I was looking for. And most people, and it does not mean it's the correct answer, but the thing is most people, most people make decisions based on the salary. And let me tell you, you are not alone. This is a study that was done by, uh, there we go, Finance Online, and they found out that the most important consideration in accepting a new job includes 49 percent it's about compensation it's about the money and i want to tell you this it is there is nothing wrong making the decision based on the money 33 percent talked about uh, professional development yes i saw some people talk about uh, growth like here i can see clinton you talk about growth yes that is about personal development yeah growth opportunity from emmanuel again personal development nothing uh, wrong with that and 29 percent actually make that decision based on better work-life balance. And I'll talk more about that, yeah, as we proceed. It's very important. So the thing is, there's nothing making your decision based on the money that you're going to earn. So I want to say this, 
with a lot of conviction inside my heart that it is possible to negotiate for a higher salary and get it. And I want you to repeat that after me. Yes. If you can be able to say it out loud, go ahead. If you want to say it quietly, but say it with a lot of conviction that it is possible to negotiate a higher salary and get it. Very much possible, right? Now, some of the questions that I got in this section, somebody asked me, how do I network with the right people? And I thought, yeah, this is a very important question. Do you know why? 85% of high paying jobs are gotten through networking, according to LinkedIn. These high paying jobs, it's all about networking and you need to find yourself in the right network. And I'm going to share with you how you can be able to join me, a network of high worth individuals that will help you get these jobs. What matters most? Is it experience or is it qualification? Okay, when I get this kind of question, I get a little bit out of shape. Do you remember I said, I will tell you the truth, the hard truth, even if that is not what you want to hear? Yes, this is one of it. When someone asked me this question, this is someone who is trying to escape from the real question. They're trying to look for a scapegoat. They don't want to take full responsibility. Do you know why? Because the moment I say experience is what that, is what is more important They're like yeah where do they expect me to get a job i do not have experience and i i, I just came out of school where do i get this experience i knew i'm not getting these jobs because i don't have the experience okay when i switch and say the most important thing is qualification yeah that is why i'm not getting these jobs i don't have the degree i don't have the masters i don't have that is just looking for an excuse. Stop whining and take 100% responsibility. There is nothing more important than the other. If you have the experience, use that to your advantage. If you have the qualification, go ahead, lead with that and stop looking at what you don't have. Are we clear? Yeah, I know I'm being hard on some people, but that is the truth. I must tell you, it doesn't matter. Whatever you have, that is what is more important. How do I balance work and professional life? Good question. As I told you, uh, in this day and age, especially with mental health issues, and when you go for these high paying jobs, I'll tell you, more will be expected from you. And so you need to be very deliberate in terms of how do you create time for your own personal life? And how do you recharge yourself after a long week or a high, uh, hectic day at work? Another question. Now, this one also gets me out of shape. Am I too young? Am I too old? Now, let me tell you this. The moment I say, you're too young, so I say, yeah, I'm not getting this job because I'm too Stop looking for an excuse. Stop looking for a scapegoat. I want you to take 100% responsibility. There's this time after a conference, someone comes to me, I think I'm not getting this job because I'm too young. Even before the uh, out, uh, uh, he finishes, Someone else tells me, I think I'm too old. That's why I'm not getting this job. So which is which? Let me tell you. There is opportunities. We have opportunities out there for young people who don't have any experience. And these are entry-level jobs. If you're young, use that to your advantage. And we have jobs out there for people who have experience. Or if you consider to call it yourself old, I think that you're not old. You just have experience. And you can go for those jobs. Focus on your lane. Stop taking, uh, looking for excuses. You are neither too young or too old. We have jobs for all these kind of people. Now, I want you to take a look at this email here. Yeah? I got from Bill Chan. Uh, I can see someone saying here, yeah, uh, V truth, V truth, the truth, the truth. Thank you. Thank you. That is what I am here for, to tell you the truth, the hard truth. And you will see and say, I'm thankful I took my time to attend this webinar or watch this replay. Bill Chan says, I recently landed my first consultancy with a few Kenya after heading to your well laid out youth friendly advice. Now this youth friendly, because this is a gentleman who is slightly older than me, but it, was he able to get the job? Yes. Did it matter my age? No. What's the point? Age is not a matter. What really matters is the results. This is a results game. If you're able to bring in the results, there you go. You will be able to get it. How do I measure and track and evaluate my progress? Okay. It's really very sad when I see certain individuals, five years, 10 years, 15 years down the road, only for them to realize they picked the wrong career path. 
I'll share with you tools that will enable you to avoid that so that you can track and evaluate your progress in a short while. I'll tell you that. How do I pick myself in the succession plan? Yeah, because I know some organization, you ask them, why are you not pro progressing? It's because they have a succession plan. You can use influence. Remember, I talked about influence. You can influence your way into the succession plan. They will be wondering, how did this person end up being in this uh, plan? What are the qualities of a person who is worth six figures? Thank you very much for that question, because what this badass is an acronym, and it actually represents the qualities of someone who is worth six figures. And I'm going to share with you in a short while about that. So how do I get started? Oh, you're even... Uh, uh, I'm going to let you know. You're just going ahead of me. I'll let you know how you get started right away. But before we get there, I really want to ask you this very serious question. And I want you to take time and post it in the group. In the chat, I will wait. The question is, if I show you exactly how to get to your dream job, do you believe you can get to uh, a job with NGOs and international organization? If you believe in the chat, I want you to drop and say, yes, I believe. If I show you exactly how to get your dream job, do you believe that you can get a job with NGOs and international organizations? If so, I want to see that in the chat. I want you to say, yes, I believe. Yes, I believe, because it starts with the belief. If you can't believe, there's very diff uh, little I can do. But I want you to start. I can see they are coming in. Yes, I believe. Yes, I believe. Thank you, Jordan. I can see, yes, Rhoda saying, I believe. Mary saying, yes, I believe. Mohammed, okay, this is, oh, I think, okay, there are so many coming in. Yes, I believe. Yes, I believe 100%. Thank you very much. It starts with you believing. Because if you don't believe, there's very little I can do for you. I can see someone else here saying, yes, I believe. Oh, tell us about the eight matters. Okay, I've just already covered that. Yes, I believe. Yes, I believe. Oh, this is great. Yes, I believe. Ah. <sighs> I, I am, let me take even breath and say, I am moved because it starts with you. Believing. I like this one. I have no experience, but I believe 100%. Mala, that is where it starts. Believing. Without all that, yes, I believe. That is Christine. I like that. Yes, Clinton. I believe. How serious, Clinton. Yes, I believe. Uh, if uh, it works according to that, yes, someone else says, I believe. Because it starts with that belief. And I'll pause and say this. Let me show you then. How then do you get there? I want to ask for your permission. I'll pause here. Is it okay for me to take about 10 minutes, share with you about this program called The Badass Pro, I Define My Own Destiny, and how it can take you from where you are to getting these jobs with NGOs and international organizations. So if you give me permission, say yes, permission granted, or yes, permission granted. It's okay, or something. Go ahead, tell us about Badass Pro. I want you to type just something short. Is it okay for me to take 10 minutes, share with you about the Badass Pro? I define my own destiny and how it can help you to get to NGOs, the UN. Drop that in the chat. Oh, I can see already Bongo say, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Ah, okay, thank you. Permission granted. That is uh, Ruth. Thank you. Even somebody says, yeah, don't pause, continue. Don't pause, continue. Ah, permission granted. Kibet, thank you very much. It's okay. Uh, who was that? I think it has gone so fast. Permission granted. Go ahead. That is from Weekly. Um, permission granted. Moses. Okay. Allow me to just take uh, another. Take 10 minutes. I'll talk about this program and then I will answer all your questions. And as I told you, by 9 p.m., that is East African time. We will be through in the next let me say that uh, 10 minutes question and answer 20 15 minutes top we finish yeah thank you for your permission thank you for your permission they're still coming in go ahead go ahead so let me go ahead let me not pause and continue now i am very proud when i say that i am a badass pro badass is an acronym pro stands for professional so who is a badass badass in an is an individual who is bold, audacious, courageous, they will do what needs to be done to complete the job. Someone who is very bold. Number two, an individual who is very authentic, authentic to themselves, 
are authentic to their own potential. They know what they are capable of. Again, an individual who is driven, they have that inner motivation and intrinsic motivation to go and do the right thing. They don't need to be constantly supervised for them to do the job. Again, an individual who is aggressive. Because I'll tell you this, in this day and age, nothing will be given to you, Lebanon on a silver platter. You need to go out there and grab what you believe to be yours. Yes, very aggressive, not only aggressive, but also assertive. You are sure of what you are going for. An individual who is skilled. In this day and age, the biggest divider between the people who are successful in their careers and those who are not is the matter of skills. Do you remember that question? What matters most? Is it experience or qualification? Now, I'll tell you the answer. It is the skills. Only those people who have the skills. Because you can get your skills from your qualification. Or you can get your skills from experience. If you don't have skills, then you don't have very little to stake in this job market. And finally, an individual who is self-assured. They are confident of themselves. So that is who a badass pro is. Bold, authentic, driven, aggressive, skilled, and self-assured. This is our mantra. When you join Badass Pro, this is what you will be saying. That I am a Badass Pro. I define my own destiny. I create my own luck. I am confident, but not cocky. Quiet, but not silent. Competitive and aggressive. I take 100% responsibility. I never give up. That is a Badass Pro person. If today you decide to join the Badass Pro, what are you going to get? Six weeks of coaching, and the value of this coaching program is about 100000 Now, that is not the cost of the program. That is the value you're going to get out of this program. And in the six weeks, this is what we will cover. In a nutshell, week one, we will look at how do you get started and become unstoppable. We want to put you in the momentum that no one can stop you. Week two, we'll get to know your worth. Do you know how much you worth? Like right now, how much should you be paid? We will be able to identify that. Then from there, week six, we look at week three, building confidence and competence. Because we say it, without confidence, anyone with confidence, that's where it starts. But confidence and competence, they go hand in hand. You know why? Because the more competent you are, the more confidence you have. The more confidence you have, the more competent you become. So you'll find that they go hand in hand. I had of this quote by Marcus Garvey who said, in this race of life, without confidence, you are defeated twice. Week four, we look at how do you master communication, influence, and networking. Remember, we talked about learning the influence, learning how to communicate, because by the way, the whole job application pro uh, process is a matter of communication, and the best communicator wins. It does not make sense when you say in your CV, I'm a good communicator, and you're not able to communicate your value to them, right? And also, I'll introduce you to the networking. Remember, we said 85% of high paying jobs are gotten through networking. With five, I give you the tools that you need to be able to track and evaluate your progress. We don't want you to lose track five years, 10 years down the line to realize you're in the wrong path. And then with six, having known your value, having known this is your baseline, we start looking at how do you add your value and be able to negotiate your salary? What are the skills that you need? That is what we cover in week six. So this is a very comprehensive program, a six weeks coaching program. Now, good is coming in. If you join the Banners Pro program today, you get six weeks of coaching and you also get one of our professional certifications. We have these four certifications and these are the key skills that organizations are looking for, for you to be able to join the UN, the NGOs. They're looking for people with skills in project management project monitoring and evaluation, strategic management and leadership, fundraising and resource mobilization. You will get one of these certifications free of charge. You will be able to, when you join the Badass Pro program. The other thing, on top of the six weeks coaching, you get one of the professional certification and you also get professional CV writing. Now, I want to talk about CV writing because this is very important. Most of us have CVs and just a documentation of where you went to school, where you have worked, 
some of the responsibilities and probably your referees. But it does not really sell you well. However, a professional CV, on the other hand, is a document that you use to market yourself. Think about an organization or a company. They have a product or a service. They will market it using billboard, radio, television, magazine, brochures, you name them. But you and me don't have the luxury of having a billboard about ourselves. So what do we do? We create a CV and we use that to sell ourselves. We are clear. We are selling our skills, our capabilities, our qualifications and experience to the employer. And how you put it on the CV makes a whole big difference. Are you together? Now, according to a very famous study, they say that it takes six seconds for a hiring manager to decide if they're going to read through your CV or not. Does your CV pass this six second test? I want you to look at this CV. This is one of the most common CV layout I see. And it's a, for a gentleman called Daniel Mutuku, male, Kenyan, married, date of birth. If you look at this CV, maybe take six seconds or less and ask this question because this is the question the hiring manager has at the back of their head. What can this person do? And as you can see, you cannot be able to answer. We give them benefit of doubt. We say, let us read the career objectives. And I have picked several career objectives from several CVs because I get a lot of CVs and probably even from your CV. And as I share this, I want you to think about the ones that you have in your CV. Do they resemble the ones that I'm about to show you in tone and in style? Or even sometimes word for word. This one I see very often. I am seeking employment with a company where I can fully, uh, where I can grow professionally and personally. What can this person do? Again, this is someone who is being selfish. They're talking, they're thinking about themselves. I want to grow professionally, but the employer is thinking, what are you bringing on board? Do you see the disconnect between the communication there? Someone else, I've seen this, I seek challenging opportunities where I can fully use my skills for the success of the organization. I can quit worrying, but still not saying anything. I want to succeed in a stimulus and challenging environment where I can, that will provide me with advancement opportunities. Again, being selfish, what do you want to gain from them? I want to excel in this field with hard work, perseverance, and dedication. I mean, they're talking about good words, but they are not really communicating their value. So this is advice I'm giving to you. If you have that section of career objectives in your CV, go get rid of it. It is not helping you securing a job. On top of the six weeks coaching, we will give you one of our professional certification. You also get professional CV writing and you also get sample cover letters. And sample because a professional uh, cover letter is high, it's, it's a highly customized application for a specific position, yeah? So to demonstrate to you how to write a good cover letter, now I picked, this is a random job description for an accountant. If you're to work in this organization as an accountant, some of the duties that you will be doing, number one will be, reviewing and establishing proper accounting systems. Uh, you will also be needed to support budget and focusing activities and also liaise with internal and external auditors. So if you are able to match this kind of job description, then somewhere in your cover letter, you should have a statement that reads like this. I have the ability to review and establish proper accounting systems. In my previous employment at ABC, I was involved in liaising with internal and external auditors. And you can see when someone reads that statement, they feel like, yeah, this is the person we are looking for. Actually, they are coming to do exactly what we want them to do. Can you see that? Now, on top of the six weeks coaching, professional certification, professional CV writing, sample cover letters, we will give you a LinkedIn profile guide. So the value you're getting so far about 207,000. And in this day and age, you cannot afford not to have an optimized profile on LinkedIn. You see, LinkedIn is a living CV. Unlike your CV, which is in your flash disk, computer, cloud, email, it's just there and someone does not access it throughout. But a LinkedIn profile is a living CV. It is working for you even when you're asleep. And I'm glad to see some people joining us on LinkedIn. I want to ask yourself, does your LinkedIn profile really sell you? Because that's where employers, recruiters, and headhunters are spending their time. When they find you on LinkedIn, when they look at their profile, do they get the value that you're bringing in? 
look at this email here i got from uh she salim he told me yeah dear daniel i would like to thank you for the linkedin profile guide service after your guidance on how to make my linkedin account look more professional i have now been approached by a potential employer and i am due for an interview on wednesday next week he wasn't looking for the job the job was actually looking for him here's another one i had nothing to do with this but i asked rose lead for permission and she said yes you can use this this is her post she said i posted my very first linkedin post to market myself for a job i was not really sure whether i would eventually have a positive outcome from this but i kept my head up high got called for interviews almost every day last week and this yielded me a job yes guys i have a job now that is the power of linkedin you cannot afford not to have an optimized profile there still more good is coming your way six weeks of coaching professional certification sample cover letters cv writing linkedin guide and on top of that we add prof interview coaching so the value right now is about 210 kenya shillings or this would be 2000 and 100 us dollars now when we talk about interview coaching we are just preparing you for an interview for those of you who joined me on tuesday when we had the live broadcast you can check on linkedin or check on youtube we have that interview tips q a session we saw the importance of preparing for an interview and how do you answer questions in an interview again that really really adds a lot of value like 99.99 percent .99 of the interviews you will go from the first question will be Tell us about yourself. Do you know how to answer that question? Other questions. Why should we hire you? What makes you the best candidate? How much should we pay you? What are your strengths? What are your weaknesses? Why are you leaving your previous employer? Think about those questions and how you can position yourself for success when you get this uh, kind of questions. So in other words, if you join the Paris Pro, this is what you're going to get. Six weeks of coaching, professional certification, professional CV writing, sample cover letters, LinkedIn profile guide, and interview coaching. Now that you know this is what you get, I have a question for you. Are you ready to become a badass pro? If you're ready, I want you to drop that in the chat and say, yes, I am ready. Are you ready to become a badass pro? If you're ready, say, yes, I am ready to become a badass pro. That bold, authentic, driven, aggressive, skilled, and self-assured individual. Are you ready to become a badass pro? I am waiting to see your comments. Oh, Roda, you're saying, yes, I am ready. Uh, Ola saying, I am ready, always ready. Madi saying, yes, I am ready. Yes, uh, there's um, Malak, uh, did I get that? Yes, I am ready. Yes, I am ready. I can see your, uh, okay, jo Jordan, or I saw it. Yes, I'm ready. Petaria, Esther, yes, I'm ready. Yes yes i can see christine you're saying yes i'm ready yes i'm ready this is super great yes yes okay people are ready to be a, i'm ready to become a badass pro yay let's keep going keep going are you ready maybe i'll uh, take a moment as i pause here i can see veronica saying yes i am ready are you ready to be a badass pro that bold authentic aggressive a bold, authentic, driven, aggressive, skilled, and self-assured individual. Yes, I'm ready. Yes, I'm ready. Okay, thank you very much. I can see most of you are ready. So let me tell you this. Um, I had two choices when I was trying to ask myself, how much should I cost this program so that people can get the most value out of it? And one option I had was to go cheap and get as many people as possible. And I said, yeah, this looks like a good option. Let me make this program cheap and get as many people as possible. Wouldn't that be reasonable? Then I had a second option. And the second option was to ask for a slightly higher investment and guarantee. And what this will do is I will dedicate more time and effort to guarantee your success. So out of these two options, I decided to go with the second one. Whereby right now, I'm going to ask you for a slightly higher investment in yourself. And I will be able to dedicate more time and effort and guarantee your success because it's not about getting big numbers but having a few number and actually going out there and serving them so that they can be able to get the real value of the program so how much is going, it going to cost you for the six weeks coaching 
professional certification, professional CV writing, sample cover letters, LinkedIn profile guide and interview coaching. It's only going to cost you $24,999 or you can pay in three monthly installments of $9,999 Kenya shillings. But if you are international, you can be able to pay $249 or um, US dollars or you can pay in three monthly installments of $99. 99 using paper yeah that is the value that you get but i also want to mention this absolutely no excuse for you not to take action today because there is a 100 percent money back guarantee if you join the program today and you don't get exactly what i've shared with you you will get just let me know within the first 30 days no question asked you get your money back now you have two choices right there where you are and the first choice you have is to do nothing and not take this leap of faith, which is 100% risk free. And the second option you have is to be open minded. Take up this small investment in yourself today and give it a shot. So out of these two options, I am now putting to you, which one will you pick? Is it doing nothing or is it being open minded and taking up this small investment in yourself? What is going to be easier for you? So this time around, don't put it in the chat. Just have it at the back of your head, yeah? Out of those two options. I have learned, and research has it that, it takes about 24 hours. Um, like right now, you have learned a ton, yeah? It, in the next 24 hours, you need to take action based on what you have learned. Because if you don't take action in the next 24 hours, chances of you taking action thereafter <laughs> drops almost to zero. So I want you to decide, what am I going to take action in the next 24 hours? Right now, it's about 8.30. Tomorrow, 8.30, what will you have done? And taking action does not necessarily mean just joining the Badass Group program. It's about, can you think about how your LinkedIn profile looks like? Can you think about how do you prepare for an interview? How does your CV, cover letter, all these things combine? I want you to really take time and think about that. Now, there are two types of people, even in this uh, training here. The first type of people are those who get an opportunity to change their lives. They can agree with everything I have shared with you. They actually see how it is applicable in their lives. And guess what? They still do nothing about it. And the second type of people are those who take action and define their own futures. Between these two types of people, those who do nothing and those who take action, which type are you? Don't put it in the chat. Just have it at the back of your head. Now, I want to take up questions. Um, but if you want to get in touch with me, my email is daniel at careerpoint.co.ke. If you want more information about the Badass Pro, just head over to careerpoint.co.ke forward slash badass and you'll get all that information. Wait, 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 wait. One more minute. I think there's something I missed. I want to mention this. This program, if you take action tonight, we have about um, 25 minutes or so before we close, 9 p.m., before 9 p.m., if you make the first installment of the 9,999, guess what? You will get the six weeks coaching and I'm going to gift you all the four certifications. Yes, you join in the Badass Pro. If you are international, just make the first deposit of 99.99 US dollars and you get all the four certifications. Yes, you join the Banners Pro six weeks coaching program and you also get project management, project monitor evaluation, strategic management and leadership, fundraising and resource mobilization. Yes. And on top of that, you are going to get yourself a t-shirt. Now, let me pause here. On an evening like this, people like you took action. And I want to give you, for those people who will take action this evening, you get yourself a notebook saying, I am a badass pro. And on top of that, you will also get yourself, I think I should come full screen here, yeah? and you will also get a t-shirt saying that I am a badass pro. So I am gifting you a t-shirt, a notebook, if you take action tonight, right now, and I'm going to give you the payment options. On an evening like this, these people decided to take action. You can see this is Helen all the way in Kitui, Eunice in Bungoma. This is Scholastica in... Kikuyu, Winfred in Kiambu. Here we have Clara in Nairobi West. This is Beatrice in Kigiri. 
um, Margaret in Gatondo, Francis in Mombasa, and more and more and more people. I think this is Eunice, Francis again. This is these are people who decided to take action, and you have an opportunity to take action. So I want to pause here and pick up any questions that you might have. Now, if you're international, you might be wondering how do I make the payment? How do I make the payment? So I want to put this in the chat so you can pay through PayPal. If you're locally here in Kenya, just go to Lipa Nine Pesa till number seven one. 5732 make that first deposit and once you make the first deposit let me know in the chat say yes i have made the first deposit of 9999 if you are international i have posted a link you can pay in full through paypal or you can pay in three installments so don't put much stuff in the chat right now i think okay there we go so any questions, by the way, if you have any questions, feel free to drop that in the chat. Drop that in the chat. And I think I need to check it. So drop any questions you might be having in the chat and I'll be happy to answer them. I'll be happy to answer them. Okay, I think if you're international, I've given you the paper. Now, I am still open. I don't, please don't leave. There's a lot that I still want to teach you. And one of them is that the best investment you can ever have is to invest in yourself. I don't know if you have ever heard about that. Now, according to this is Warren Buffett, one of the richest people on earth. He realizes that the best investment you can ever have is to invest in yourself. Because it is said for every, for every shilling, for every dollar you invest in yourself, you get a you get $30 return on investment. That is a 3,000% return on investment any time you uh, invest in yourself. Now, let me ask you, where do you get a 3,000% return on investment? Okay, allow me. I want to pin the payment method. So if you're on YouTube, you'll see it is pinned for you to make the first deposit. Okay, I can see question here. Payment plan, please, again, yes. For the payment plan, you, I, I'll get there. Let me uh, fast finish it. But I can see the questions coming in, which is good, which is good. Let me pass through this. Say that the best investment you can ever have is to invest in yourself. For every dollar you invest in yourself, for every shilling you invest in yourself, you will get 30 shillings, $30 return on investment. 3,000% return on investment. Where else will you get such kind of uh, return? Is it your... Real estate, no. The stock market, no. It's only when you decide to invest in yourself. I learned this rule from Brian Tracy. It's called the 10 10 rule. And we, how it goes, we are brought up in a society where we take 10% of our income and tithe it. And he says, I put it to you, why not take another 10% of your income and tithe it to yourself? Yeah. Use it to help yourself. Let that be the fund to find your personal development because we know every till you uh, invest in yourself 3000% return on investment so i want to challenge you take this opportunity to invest in yourself so the payment plan somebody was asking is you can pay uh right now the in three monthly installments of 9999 or you if you're international you can be able to pay through paypal that is 9999 and all you will get is the six weeks of coaching you'll also get all the four certification this is for people who pay tonight before 9 p.m now this offer is open until sunday midnight if you pay tomorrow on saturday on sunday it's okay but you will only get one certification but if you pay tonight i want to reward you i'll give you the t-shirt i'll give you the notebook and i'll also give you all the four certifications are we together okay i think i've seen some uh questions again coming in uh, uh which was the other question i think uh, oh someone talking about uh engineering yeah could i have engineering education background i would not let uh, this secure job anymore yes it's not about only if you're in social sciences even engineering students 
there are opportunities in NGOs, depending with uh, if you are able to identify what are the mission and what do they do. I know something that UNICEF, um, there's also one that uh, deals with water that needs engineers to be able to help get. So all these things are, yeah, all the opportunities are there, Andrew, but we can uh, stay in touch. Yeah, feel free to stay in touch. I can see another uh, year, Andrew, again. Uh, good administration, good skills, and IT inclined. Okay, we can talk and see how best we can be able to assist you. Uh, let me see. Was oh, there a oh, very good question? Badass Pro, will it be online? Yeah, that's a good question. Yes, the coaching itself is both it's a hybrid, it's both online, whereby we have our learning platform where you log in and get access to the logging, uh, the courses. And once you log in, you'll get the stuff that you need to read through and do some activities. And then we have a live version. After every week, you book a coaching session where we do one-on-one -on -one with you. Irrespective of where you are, I have a Zoom. I'll send you a link, and then we are able to get uh, Q&A um, or have questions, uh, coaching sessions every week. So there's some stuff you're doing online the whole of the week, and then at the end of it, we book a session for one-on-one. -on -one. Now. If you have very specific details, I can see someone is in Lebanon. They don't know how to uh, make payment. I'm going to share with you my uh, Zoom link whereby you. I'll just pull you in, come backstage. We can have a one-on-one -on -one, uh, session, ask any questions, right? So if you want to know how to pay, if you're international, if you don't have PayPal, I know, yeah, Lebanon might not have PayPal. There's also, was it Zambia? Uh, I've coached students in these uh, regions and they paid through western union i'm going to share with you the link or my details so hang on in there i'm going to give you um i'm going to give you a link we join on zoom give me a minute uh, it's only that i still have some few things i want to teach you on and train you on now look at this email here this one i got from um lucy she said dear daniel i cannot be grateful enough for badass pro training that came in with a professionally made CV and sample cover letters. In a span of two months, I have now, I have managed to get four interviews with very reputable international NGOs, such as Ilri, One Acre Fund, among others. With my new CV and cover letter samples that I customized to suit my job, I am now confident to apply for jobs in UN agencies. And honestly, I am hopeful and confident that it, uh, that that is my next employer. For quite a long time, I hadn't received any interview invitation. It is no longer the case anymore. Thanks a lot. And God bless you for the good work and always being willing to help. Now, I helped her and she just saw some great, great, as it, in terms of her job site, it's changed. Two months getting invited interviews with these international organizations, NGOs, and it is what we teach and how it makes a lot of sense. How would you feel? I want to ask you, if you were passed on a promotion just because you did not have the right skills, how would you feel if the person next to you gets a big break because they understood networking and you did not? It is so sad. It's feel, it doesn't feel good. I know because I've seen people doing that. But on the other hand, how would you feel if next year, a time like this, you're debt free, living in your home, planning your next vacation? This is only possible if you decide to take action tonight. If you do that, drop me the chat uh, that you have already paid. Let me know. Okay, thank you. I can see my team telling me somebody has paid. Okay, good. By the way, I only need about 10 people. I do the cohorts. 10 people will be enough. Then we'll be able to uh, keep going. Um, I am in Nairobi. Where is our station? Okay, our offices are in Nairobi. Mindeleo House, third floor, room number six. Come to Mandeleo House opposite Anniversary Towers, yeah? Uh, let me look for a question. Uh, what are legal... Legal processes, I don't understand your question. Uh, but if you have... Okay, let's move on. I'll keep on checking. So I want to tell you this. I learned this from Warren uh, Buffett. And Warren Buffett said, do not... No, this is not Warren Buffett. This is Jim Rohn, one of my mentors. Do not evaluate something based on how much it costs. You should be able to evaluate something based on how much it is worth. And if you only think about cost, oh, that is too expensive. You think about what cost. But worth 
Think about what will it cost you if you don't join this program? Is it staying at that job that you don't like? Is it being stuck in your career? Is it only thinking about these jobs with the UN and the international organization and really never getting them? Yes, start thinking about the worth of this program. And I know you guys have big goals, right? But for you to achieve these big goals, I want to challenge you. Let the size of your goal be equal to the size of your investment. Are we together? Let the size of your goal be equal to the size of your investment because that is the only way you can be able to achieve these big goals. Invest in yourself today. Okay, I've been told two people, Mary and, is it Mary and who? I think Precious, they are paid or I'll go Precious. Yeah, so if you paid, just let me know. If you're here in Kenya, you get the six weeks coaching, all the four certifications for those people who are paying live here when we are here live. Sample cover letters, LinkedIn profile guide, interview coaching. All you need to do is make that first payment of 9999 through the TIL number 715732. If you are international, you can pay through PayPal. The first uh, option, deposit 999.99. I've already put in the link in the chat. I can post it once again. There we go. Maybe you might have lost the link. But I'm going to give you my contact details. We join in a Zoom call. So in the next two slides, I think I'll be able to finish. Yeah? I learned this, that the E to E ratio, 95% of the highly successful uh, people spend 95% of their time in education, while the majority of the population spend 95% of their time in entertainment. You need to be very purposeful with your time for you to be able to create time to learn all this. Don't just think about entertainment. This is your opportunity to learn and start putting your education into practice. Now, you will never be 100% ready. If you're there and you're thinking like, oh, I wish this would have come earlier. I wish I had. You will never be 100% ready when an opportunity arises. So what do you do? Just do it. Because that is where you get the value. Just do it. Now, your largest fear carries the greatest growth. And this is true. You know why? Because when you feel the fear, it's because it's, it's a signal from your body telling you that I'm not willing to go that way. I don't want to go. This is a new territory. This is out of my comfort zone. So it tells you, hey, this is not a good thing. Let's pull back. But the truth is the largest fear carries your greatest growth. You know why? You will never grow in your comfort zone. In your comfort zone, right there, do you know what happens? In your comfort zone, you feel safe, you feel in control, because there is low risk and low reward. If you're feeling the fear, you are getting into the fear zone. And you know what happens during that fear zone? And I'm sure that is what you're experiencing, low self-esteem. You're not sure. Low confidence. Should I? Should I not? You start looking for excuses or the program is too expensive or you are affected by others opinion what will people say about me i joined to, found some guy here and i paid for the program that is okay so the question is will you push past the fear zone and get to the learning zone where you face more challenges solve problems acquire new skills and extend your learning uh, your comfort zone then from there you go to the growth zone where you are able to find your purpose, live your dream, set new goals and conquer your objectives? Or will you actually pull back and fall into your comfort zone? Most of you are in that fear zone right now, I can tell you because I've been there before, but the question or the challenge, do you push forward or do you fall behind into the comfort zone? I think that has it been it. I am telling you the last moment. If you're in Kenya, go to Lipana and Pesa till number 715732 and be able to join. Pay the first deposit of 9999 or you can pay through PayPal 99.99. Get all the four courses. By the way, this is the certificate. This is how it looks. Yeah. Um, I remember when we started, I asked this question. Let me be your coach. Would you let me be your coach? I want to ask, have I done a good job being your coach? Have I told you the truth? The hard truth, even if that is not what you wanted to hear. Let me know. Did I do a good job? 
And if I did a good job, would you want this to be the end of our coaching session or would you want it to be the beginning? Because by the way, joining the program, you're saying, I want this to be the beginning. Imagine having this for the next six weeks. Will it not change your life? And if so, tell me in the chat, do you want this to be the end? Because if you say, okay, today has been good, it ends there. Oh, I saw there was a question here. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Um, where is the question? Somebody's asking, what, uh, how do I apply for this? What is the minimum uh, qualities for that? Now, there is no any minimum qualities. If you are ready to join this program and you see it is making, uh, uh, it making sense for you, just join me in the chat. Right now, I want to put in, in the chat. This is the Zoom details. By the way, you can join me on Zoom right now. Click on that link or you can use the code. Let me start the meeting so that we can be able to have a one-on-one -on -one session and I answer all your questions. Is that okay? Uh, yeah, I've started the Zoom link. So I want you to tell me in the chat, do you want this to be the end or the beginning? I can see Esther, you're saying, yes, you want it to be the beginning. Esther Kanana, join the Badass Pro program. Yeah, and this will be the beginning. Uh, okay, I can see who else say, I want this to be there, it's, it's like, it's good, yeah? It's look uh, like good. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. Oh, you want this to be the beginning. So I'm going to put in uh, the details for Zoom. Please join me on Zoom. I will answer any questions that you might have, and then we can call it a day. Um, hmm. So I have put in, you can click on that link, join me on Zoom, or you can, uh, that is the meeting ID, and the passcode is salary, yeah? Meeting ID, there we go. Oh, I know people in LinkedIn, you don't. Let me put it in the chat if you're there on LinkedIn. So join, I'll give you a few minutes as I am waiting to know from you. Do you want this to be the end or do you want this to be the beginning? Do you want this to be the end of our coaching or do you want this to be the beginning? Here is an opportunity. So if you have any personal question, I want to pull you in my backstage. We can have a one-on-one -on -one session if you want to know how you can be able to pay from um, international or whatever it is, um, there it is. I think I put the link both on, everybody can be able to see. So join me, let me see, let me see how many people have joined. Yeah, I can see Nasir, you're in. Okay, good. Do you want this to be the end or the beginning? Okay, I can see someone here saying they want it to be the beginning. Uh, I want the code, uh, I want to pay from Nigeria the code again okay let me pick uh where is this person okay if you're in nigeria just give me a minute uh you can be able to join i'm going to show uh, share with you the link join me on um zoom right now mary i can see you're saying you would want this to be uh this is a great job would like this to be uh, to continue with the coaching thank you mary please join me on zoom you can either click that link or you can use the uh, where is it again okay very good i can see someone says yes i want this to be the beginning oh good i want this to be the beginning oh uh, thank you very much gloria i can see someone is uh work for you thank you mm -hmm. well i think okay there we go so thank you very much ladies and gentlemen i think this has been a great session i just want to pull a few people who have definite questions this is the last opportunity for you. I think we have five more minutes to close the shop for you to get all the four courses, six weeks of coaching, professional CV writing, sample cover letters, LinkedIn, and the four certification. This has been a great moment. I think I will stop it there and I'll be able to pull uh, a few people on the backstage. I'm really excited. I want to believe that you got value out of this session. If you did, this has been great. I can see someone else say, yes, I want this to be the beginning. I am happy to hear that. I'm... So let me see how many people have come into the Zoom call. Okay, a few of us are in. Is this the right meeting? Okay, good. I think I have the right meeting. So thank you very much. I will pause it there. Find join me in the zoom i think i'll have to post it again yes 
you want this to be the beginning someone saying thank you very much i appreciate that i want to believe that you got value by the way before we close i want to pipe up the minutes what would you say is the one thing that you have learned from this session i don't believe that it wasn't waste of time yeah and uh, what would you say is the one thing that you have learned in this session please drop that in the chat what have you learned from this session thank you a lot for the uh, lecture that is andrew i've learned a lot and uh, it's been great honor being here god bless you thank you very much uh i can see some of the bt okay good to be here that has been great oh what have you learned oh you want this to be the beginning this is great so i put again the link i have two or three people already in the zoom call yeah ladies and gentlemen i'll be with you shortly let me close the the live broadcast then i come here is that okay just give me a minute okay those who are I can see already people have already joined us in the Zoom call. Yeah, I want to answer all your questions. Thank you very much. Oh, someone, ah, these are great. I have to leave my comfort zone. That is a great thing. I can see someone say Badass Pro Mantra. Yes, you like that. I really appreciate that. Ladies and gentlemen, I think I have to finish this live call and join people who are with me on Zoom. There is the code again. Join me on Zoom. Otherwise, ladies and gentlemen, it has been a great session. I think I will need to close it up now and join people and answer their questions. Until next time, ladies and gentlemen, I'm out. I need to.